everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Mech Arena. Um, yeah, I'm still back on this game. I still don't know why. <laughs> Keep saying it, and it doesn't. It just doesn't get better. Um, we've been doing some free for all, but honestly, it's been as fruitful as trying to dig your own grave. Um, yeah, it's just not very fun. There are some spots that are fun. Um, I think it's the same map as, yeah, because there's 10 hours left. Yeah, it's the same map as yesterday because I was playing last night. Um, yeah, we're just going to do battles, obviously, like we always do. Um, and we're just trying to get more A-coins because... I'm going to save up um, to see if I can get anything in the gear hub. And if it's impossible, then um, yeah, I'm just going to quit the game. Like I've said, um, it still hasn't come the gear hub update. Don't know why it's literally May 31st. So like today's the last day to keep their promise of releasing it in May. Otherwise it's coming during the summer. Like, you know, that, that this is just ridiculous. Um, some people have it, but that's like new accounts, and I don't know. They they should have released it so much sooner if they were going to talk about it and promise that it was going to come soon. Because Plarium, just so you know, three months is not soon. That is very, very, that's a lot of time that people have to wait. That's 90 days at least. Three months is not soon. Three months is we'll release it in the summer. You could have just said that. Um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just still mad about that. Um, it's like the only thing that might change the free to play in this game might, but honestly, with all the reviews people have been sending me and uh, the gear hub videos that people have been posting, doesn't look very promising. That's for sure. Um, but we shall see because they're not done with the testing phase or whatever they said. Um, we don't know if that's the finalized, but basically just seems like more pay to win. Like I've said, you need stars. And in order to get stars, the easiest way to do that is just to buy, buy max. Um, whether that be with in-game currency or with actual money, but <clears throat> it's probably easier to buy with, in, with actual money because they have deals with lower ranks. So technically you get less stars, but you get the mech and... <clears throat> excuse me um you get the max some upgrade stuff um they're usually like usually you get the offers you don't get the single mech or the single weapons by themselves because those are usually bad deals um they're obviously scams i would say do that for the legendary weapons because well they're overpowered in any sense um yeah i think that's all i have because i we haven't seen the gear hub like in full depth we just saw like i saw like omniverse or mayors mayfors or whatever his name is um i saw the gear hub on one of their channels i forgot which one it was um but yeah, it just, it just did not seem that promising. So that's really my only gripe about it. It's, it's literally just another form of paying to progress in this game at this point. It's not even pay to win. It's pay to progress. Pay to progress is just how you kill a game. Oh, that's very loud. I apologize. <clears throat> okay. So um, obviously we still have our normal setup. Nothing really is going to change about that.
I'm okay with taking some of them. Yeah, I know that was going to happen. I was just waiting for the mine. Because, I mean, I'm dead anyway, so. I have, like, no, nothing to give my teammates, so. We'll just do this. And uh, they're going ham. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I guess we'll push on this side. Oh, he, he chose the right time. Yeah, I'm not going to fall for that. <laughs> Come on. Just going to reload. I know I have four in the other one, but... Oh, AOE rocket, that sucks. I mean, most of them are, but... Uh, are you not going to help me? You're just going to... Okay, well, I hope you die. Yeah, kill him. Worthless fucking teammate. Literally just die in a hole. My goodness. If you're not going to play the game, just don't play. I know how your thing works. Don't don't mess with me, bro. Yep. Of course, it's a freaking Zephyr. So he's just gonna try and snipe us. Okay, well, there's two left. So I'm assuming the other guy's probably a camper somewhere. Oh, well. You can't do much if we're gonna win that way, okay. Yeah, I didn't really go ham with Panther because uh, they were pretty on my ass as soon as I got into that Panther. Oh, and also I got like one of the first kills so they were probably wary of me from the beginning. That sucks. Um, we got our 8 coins though, that's really the only reason I'm doing this. Yeah, pretty sad still. It just it just feels like the progress is even slower than a snail at this point. Like there's so many better games with much better progression that it just... Like this one is just your wallet is your progression. And it, it really... Like I said, it really just killed the game. Um... And there's nothing much they can do about it now because they, they screwed up and they don't care about it. So if they're not going to care about it, people aren't going to care about coming back to the game. It's really that simple. If the game has no foreseeable future for free-to-play, why would free-to-play come back? Like Plarium, it's just common sense. Like logic. You guys use logic to make money, we'll use logic to think <laughs> about other things than money. Yeah, um... It's not super dead, but uh, it definitely feels dead. Well, now we're going to do free-for-all because, like I said, technically this is a tournament account. And, well, let's see where the state of free-for-all is. Probably still in the same dog water hellhole of a place that it usually is, where you win one battle, you instantly get placed with maxed out bots. And then after that, it's just maxed out bots for the rest. As long as you place high enough on the leaderboard, you're just going to face basically maxed out bots with all legendary implants, legendary weapons, legendary pilots. Like, it really is sad. Of course, I don't face completely that. You usually face that in the um, upper arenas.
Okay, staying up here is the best spot, but I don't have the right mech for this, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, I poked out too much. Well, to be fair, he's basically... Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> uh, oh, dang it. They took the spot. Here? Nope, that was the wrong spot. Uh, this isn't a bad spot either, but... I don't know what he was thinking about doing there. I mean, I had more health and everything, so. Yeah, but well now you gotta watch out for me, brother. Goddamn whore. Don't take my food. I need that. Ah. <sighs> Oh god. Oh wow, he got sniped from behind. <laughs> I was about to say. Don't know what he was doing, but okay. This is why I say Panther, Guardian, and um, <clears throat> was it the, not the Surge. Oh, well, Surge is definitely a good one, but uh. Okay, what the hell was that lag? Literally fucking missed the kill because of that. So stupid how oh, that works. <clears throat> like, I'm just gonna stay in this corner. There really is no need for me to go past this corner. Well, now I'm on display, so that sucks. How did I get the kill? What? Oh my Jesus. Yeah. I don't know what you were thinking. Panther is one of the best trap. He's basically like a better version of what the Arachnus mech was supposed to be. A basically pull and kill um, like a trap robot. Um, in order to make the Arachnos just good, they just have to increase the turret damage to at least 400. I don't know why they think it's going to be broken. Literally, you can walk out of the range. That makes it one of the worst things in on the planet because it's a turret. It'd be cool if they could follow you around, which then they would be perfect because you just follow the... Um, it's just extra damage at that point and then they follow the enemy, so that'd be good. Just to tell you where enemy positions are, like <clears throat> like an extra radar basically. Um, of course that takes a lot more coding to do because it's a separate entity of the actual robot and then you got to code for it and do all sorts of balancing stuff. Um, of course they added implants to increase like damage and, um, distance, which they're fine, but it's just the fact that the turret stays in one place. You can walk out of its area. You can actually just like walk in on top of it and like dodge all of its shots um which is stupid like i i don't think i don't think they were thinking that through they just gave the me a, sorry the arachnos as a free mech because they had to appease the free to play players um and then they nerfed it to the ground with the new rarity update so basically big middle finger like i said to everybody who's not paying a lot of money an insane amount of money because everyone who's paying that much money already has all the legendary stuff. So they, they just got better gameplay at that point. <laughs> like really, it was for the developers. That's really what the update was for. Developers and whales. That's all the updates, the past few updates have been for. 
Yeah. And all the new content as well is just for developers and um, whales because they're the only ones who are willing to spend hundreds of dollars on something that it's just a tiny piece in this game rather than spending a hundred dollars like on an actual game. So yeah, really just a scam. Like I've said, scam, scam, scam. That's why I don't pay for the battle passes. Any well, the battle passes are probably the least scammy thing in this game. They're, they're good for progression um, up to a certain point. Right now, they don't really help me, but um, they fixed them. So now they can help me. Um, by fix, I mean they made them better. You're welcome. I really hate Guardian players. They just don't know how to do anything except use abilities. It's like, come on. Okay, I'm in a good spot, actually. This, this is the perfect spot. Um, so this corner here is where you want to be. Got him. Because you can snipe people, people across the map. What the hell? You got to be kidding me. One fucking HP. One Goddamn fucking HP. Of course, Plarium. Literally go kill yourselves. Literally, thanks for ruining the game. Worst goddamn developers in any game that I've ever played. Literally, suck. <clears throat> well, that's your own fault. You're welcome. Oh, great. Great. Yeah, just do it the freaking mech with, of course, miniguns. Of course. Literally so stupid. Yeah, kill this scum. Literally does not deserve to live on the planet. The hell oh I might as well just kill myself so I don't have to deal with this shit and I'm dead yeah it's fine I, I don't care literally don't care about this game mode whatsoever I'm just I mean, I'll take that. Oh my Jesus, of course. So stupid. Literally stop spawning them right next to fucking me. Really just does not make the game good. I, I don't understand what your decisions were with the game, but they're horrible. They suck. You guys are horrible devs. Literally just for the money. Not even for the game. It's so stupid. The game is basically a shell of what it was. Now it's just, who has the bigger wallet? <sighs> yeah, so stupid. Literally a redeemer. Is that a redeemer? It looked like a redeemer with um, mini guns. Yeah, I can take out a full goddamn tank because guess what? They paid to max it out. And now it doesn't matter how strong my tank is unless I have it maxed out. And even then, with the miniguns, it's it's pretty much uh, game over. <sighs> yeah. Um, I think that might be it because there's really, like, uh, <laughs> you're just going to see more horrible gameplay. Like, I don't know. I don't think you guys are enjoying this as, as much as I am. Like, at least I'm enjoying it a little bit because I'm actually playing the game, but... Still not that much enjoyment. The enjoyment is negative compared to the disappointment I have in the game. Um, 
disappointment is just through the roof. Yeah, and you can tell it's dead because I'm sixth season division, and usually I would never be. I would be at least eighth. Um, so there's just a big chunk. I, usually I'm ten, but like if I push, I can be up to eight. Um, yeah, there's just a big chunk of players who left, which is good. They're not gonna listen otherwise. Quit the game. If you don't quit the game, just don't buy stuff. Those are really the two only options you have if you want Mecarina to listen to you. You keep paying the money, they're not going to listen because they're still making money. That That's just how it works. Um, yeah. Still, still, where, where's the update? Like, soon? Do you know what the word soon means? Three months is not soon. It's already the fourth goddamn month, and you still haven't given us the Gear Hub updates. All right, well, I'm done with this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, this is AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. It really shows your support, helps me out, keeps you up to date with my content. 73 subscribers and going strong last time I checked, so you guys are amazing. Keep going. And um, yeah, my two, two points of advice for you guys. Don't pay. Or just quit the game. Yeah, paying will boost boost your account, but then you're just gonna have to pay more later because Plarium's gonna see that you're paying and then put you up against stronger bots so that it's even harder for you unless you have a max that account. And then um I mean the foreseeable future just looks like a pay to progress. So yeah, good luck for the late game. Good luck for gate late game. Um yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. I'll see you guys later.